Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and watching our little video today. I'm Steve. And I'm Gary. And uh, today we're going to talk to you about the Windows Registry. As I'm sure you've probably seen on the internet or even through our tips, there's times when you can go into the Windows Registry and make changes, and it allows you to uh, modify little things about Windows. The Registry is really an integral part of Windows that retains all the information, all the little settings, all the little details and changes that are made on, on Windows every day. Now the thing with the registry is, and you've probably heard warnings about this before, you can actually go into your registry, make all sorts of changes, and get it so messed up that Windows no longer operates. Because Windows is relying on that registry to have accurate information, and that's where today's tip comes in. Right. Today we're going to show you how to make a backup of your registry before you make any changes to it. That way if you want to go out and you want to make some changes to your registry, you have a safe backup and you can always go back to it and get your computer back to normal. And uh, so we'll turn to the computer and show you that right now. All right, the first thing we need to do to back up our registry is actually get to the registry. If you're an XP, you're going to go to the uh, command box there and type in um, regedit.exe. The tip will uh, show you exactly how. For uh, Windows Vista 7, we're just going to type regedit right here in the search box and hit enter. And that will bring up our Windows Registry Editor. And all we're doing here is going to the File menu and Export. And I can put this wherever I want. I'm going to just stick this on the desktop right now for convenience sake. And generally what I want to do is I'm going to name it maybe like the date. I might call it Reg Backup Dash. Uh, today happens to be October 19th, so I'll put 10-19-10 and uh, hit Save. And a few seconds later you can see that this has shown up on my desktop and there's the registry backup. Now that's how you back it up. Now to restore it is just about as easy. See here, we have the file menu and uh, import, and it'll say, you know, where do you want to import it from? We'll say desktop, hit open, and uh, it's importing the registry file. And that little line will go across, and it, we have just restored the registry to exactly what it was, you know, a few seconds ago. But uh, that's about all there is to it. So there you have it. Uh, that's how to back up your registry and how to restore your registry to get anything back that you may have messed up during uh, some registry changes. Yeah, and we want to emphasize that sometimes when you mess with your registry and things are really messed up, there's two things that can happen. One, you've screwed it up so bad that you actually have to boot into safe mode and restore your registry from there. Sometimes you can do it through regular normal Windows if it's not too messed up. But boy, if you, uh, if you get to the point where nothing's working at all, you'll have to boot into safe mode. I'm going to put a link right down here so you can go over there. That's our video tip on how to get into safe mode, so uh, hopefully that helps. Yeah, and uh, you know, otherwise, just be careful with the registry as always. We always give this warning whenever we talk about the registry. Whenever you're making any changes, I mean, even in doing the backup, you still have to go to the registry editor, so just be careful. And uh, I think that's it for our tip today. Make sure you stop by our site, sign up for our newsletters. We have the Computer Tips newsletter that everybody's raving about and signing up for. Make sure that you're on it. If you're watching this on, uh, on World Start, that's great. If you're watching this on YouTube, we want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And again, head over to World Start, check us out. And uh, thanks for watching.